Oh, yeah. And I'm more part of Vikings of Volksburg. We're based out of Northeast Ohio. And this is tablet weaving. <laughs> so um, all of the cards are threaded differently. And the pattern will depend on how you turn the cards each way. So this is actually a variation on a find from Birka, Sweden. So start off here, turn these guys forwards, these guys backwards. A pattern like this on a loom like this, you want to make sure that the cards haven't snagged and the yarn hasn't snagged. So kind of slide your finger up there, pat it down. You can actually, this is called a shuttle and it has your weft thread on it. So you kind of pat that guy down. And so that's called one pick. And um, for this pattern, you do the same thing twice. So two picks. Round two. And they're already snagging. <laughs> and there's our second pick. And then for the next one, they want you to change up your cards a little bit. So I put slid two of them to go forward. And yeah, just the one that told me to pop up. It's going well so far. We're not snagging too much. And then on our next pick. It's going to create this hey, little hole in the middle. Is the fro working out? So I wondered if it was sketch or not. And there you go. And then you just do the exact same thing going backwards to close up your hole and create your twining pattern. What are the items used for that you make the tablet weaving with? Um, so there are wooden tablets. And then there is yarn, and then this is my lap loom. It's a. Yeah. <laughs> so I switched up my turning pattern, and then. So, a lot of people, when they're just starting off, will take, you know, two, like, C clamps and just clamp them on the table and tie one end to each and just go from there. Um, one of the most famous looms is the Oseberg loom, which was found in the Oseberg ship burial, and it's huge. And it's basically just two upright poles connected in the middle with uh, another like wooden plank, and then there's little feet on it. And you can imagine like how, how big this piece would have been that they tied onto it. All the Oseberg looms that I've seen in real life have been on um, like a quarter scale for how big this one is. And in the Oseberg ship burial, they actually found like card, like these tablets, like are like still vault. And they buried them with these women who were buried wow. in the uh, burial. <laughs> so yeah, and then the, the next turn closed our little, our little twining hole there. Making sure your your yarn isn't snagging is kind of a big deal um, because it can mess up your pattern. And sometimes uh, it's hard to go back if you mess up. What did I do? There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Yeah, I just made this one now. Ah, there we go. Back on track. You gotta keep track of how you're turning the cards too, because one wrong turn, you're like, oh no. Well, thank you very much. That is indeed a daunting task. Much appreciated. Well, you should see some of the things that people make. <laughs>